Hello everyone, so for today's video I'm going to be showing you what I use for my everyday makeup. And I would say like my everyday makeup bag, but I don't really like put all my stuff in like a makeup bag. I'm actually going to be taking you to my oh so glamorous bathroom counter and show you how I store all of my everyday makeup and what I use and just all of my go-to stuff and I don't know if this is going to be super interesting or not, but I know that I love looking at these things and I know I love looking at how people store things in their bathroom. I don't know what this was. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and um, I hope you get some uh, some new ideas on how to store your makeup and yeah, let's get to it. Woo. Okay guys, so we are now in my bathroom. Hello, I'm looking very, very fabulous today. Um, and this is just a little overview of the storage I have for all of my everyday makeup. Um, also, this is a little, a little embarrassing, but dirty closet. Yes, my closet is a part of my bathroom, which is a blessing and a curse all in one. So, I have this little acrylic um, drawer deal I got from TJ Maxx, which holds a lot of my everyday makeup, and then I have this little piece I got from Fred Meyer which holds just a bunch of little things which I think I'm going to get something different for up here because this is all stuff that I could put in the drawers I just I got this first and then this second and then I felt like I needed to put stuff in here so if anybody has any suggestion they should let me know but I think I'm gonna get like a lipstick holder or something because if you look over here I've got a lot of everyday lip products so yeah, I might need a better way to store these. But I do like this. These are like recycled candle jars from the Bath and Body Works candles. Let's start out with this little doodad. So first you have my contact case because four eyes over here. And then I have over here my lip scrub, which is too big to go in the drawers. So I just put it right here and oh my god. If you haven't used like a lip scrub before, it is magical. Because my lips are so flaky and disgusting like most of the year, no matter what season. So yeah, that uh, definitely comes in handy. So here I just have my tweezers, little, you know, grooming tool for taming those unruly brows. And then I have a little blush here, which I actually need to put back in my, like, big collection, because I use it, it's more of like a berry blush for winter. Just haven't gotten around to putting it away. And this is my CoverGirl um, highlighter, I think it's in Champagne. Oh my god, I use this for my inner, my tear duct, like, every single day. Girl, this is, a, like, the best thing. It is beautiful. It's in, like, the super old packaging. I swear, that is, like, the best highlighter I've ever, ever used. This, this is, yeah. This is just a baby Lancome palette that I use for my brows. <laughs> Get up. So, yeah, I use the darkest color for my eyebrows, which I should probably, I'm trying to try and, like, get into doing lighter colors in my brows because I'm kind of have a problem with making them too dark but that is the color that I use at the moment and then I have three eyeliners here um, I have three liquid eyeliners here because they're all drying out and I'm just using all of them at the same time because one of them won't do the job properly <laughs> so I have a Maybelline Master Precise um, L'Oreal okay is it linear intense is it Linear Intense or is it Liner Intense? Because I've heard everyone say it three different ways. I don't think it's Liner because that's not how you spell Liner. And I want to say Linear, but Linear sounds French. I don't... I don't know. And then I have an Urban Decay 24-7 Waterproof Eyeliner in Perversion. And I kind of hate this. I don't know if mine's just old or what, but literally it like comes out gray, not black. And it just... it just all around sucks. Um, and then I have a sample size of a Kate Somerville Morning Moisturizer, which I really like. I hate how expensive Kate Somerville is. I also have a sample size, the Tarte Maracuja Oil. This stuff is magical. It makes my skin feel just bleh, amazing in the morning. And, I don't know, it's, it's kind of fun sleeping with a bunch of oil on your face. I don't know, I have really dry skin, so I think that's kind of fun. And it fits perfectly in this little thing. And over here I have... The mascaras that I'm currently using, again, I have multiples because some of them are drying out. So I have this mascara here, which is the L'Oreal Shocking Extensions, like, telescopic one. Yeah, telescopic shocking intention. Eh, extensions. And I use this for my bottom lashes because it's waterproof and it's the little brush. And sometimes I, I laugh, I, cr I cry when I laugh, so I like to use a waterproof 
mascara, my bottom lashes so I don't get all raccoony in the day when I'm laughing. <laughs> and I have the Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara, which I was using for a long time and now I'm not really using because I don't know, it doesn't work very well in my eyes right now. I have another dried out CoverGirl Lash Blast, but I use this to comb through my lashes when the Jordana Best Slash Extreme gets too clumpy, which I love this mascara right now. And then I have a little baby Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which I've been using for my bottom lashes. I like that as a lot as well. And then I have another sample size. I love little samples because I'm too cheap right now to be getting expensive makeup. And I have a little sample size of a Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, which is nice because I don't really wear, actually I don't wear foundation at, at all. And when I want a little something something, I just use a Tinted Moisturizer or BB Cream, but well, usually just nothing. Um... Then I have a Match Perfection Concealer uh, and Highlighter, and I bought this because I thought it was good, and eh, it's it's okay. It doesn't really do... Th I mean, if I have, like, blemishes, it works, but for... Like, I mainly use concealer for my under eyes, and it just doesn't really uh, do the job. Oh, and my moisturizer, my night cream is right here, and this is the Aveeno Smart Essentials Night Cream. So, first drawer... I have, it's kind of a mess, but basically all of the liners and the brushes that I use throughout the day, um, I ha I've heard you're supposed to keep your brushes in your bathroom, but, um, I, I can't be bothered to go out to the, to where my, all my makeup is and grab my brushes, and I don't like doing them over there, my makeup over there, I love doing the bathroom, so, whatever. Yeah, I have a bunch of brushes and liners I use for my eyebrows, and, um, yeah, I don't know, just a bunch of tools. And then I have a uh, Mac Bear Study paint pot in there. And then uh, pulling out the drawers kind of sucks because it grabs like the whole thing. But these are the blush. This is the blush and bronzers that I've been using regularly. And this is the Milani Luminoso blush. And this is just a Physicians Formula Happy Booster bronzer. And this is a Stila bronzer. And this is my Bobbi Brown gel liner. This is my Holy Grail Badge the Bronze color tattoo. You can tell it's I use the crap out of it. I already have a backup. And then this is the bronzed taupe L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadow, which these are just freaking amazing. And then I have the L'Oreal Infallible in Amber Brush. And then my my under eye concealer that I love is oh, is the CoverGirl Olay um, eye concealer, which they don't make anymore, which sucks. But I do know that I do think you can get them on Amazon. So when I run out. I know where to go. And then, oh, And the bottom, I just have the two eye palettes that I use on the regular, which is my Naked 2 and my Marc Jacobs Lolita palette. This palette is like love and heaven in a palette. It is gorgeous. Oh my god. So over here, I just have a bunch of my essential products. And again, I know you're supposed to keep brushes out, but I do anyway because not like they're expensive brushes. I'm not too worried about it, but I just like to be able to reach my brushes in the morning in my bathroom. So, sue me. Um, so this is just my Real Techniques blush brush and powder brush, and then I have some Clean and Clear face wipes. I love face wipes. They are amazing. I have my Tarte Lash Curler, a little clip for my hair, some deodorant, the Healthy Sexy Hair, what is this, Soy tri Leave-In Conditioner, my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer, Suave Dry Shampoo, Dove Hairspray, um, Contact Solution back, hanging out back there, and then I have a little blush palette right here. And then onto my little lip containers. I just started doing this because I realized that I would just not wear my lip products if they weren't out staring at me. So I just have a couple of these Bath and Body Works candles that I mentioned before, and it just has all the lip products that I reach for the most. Um, I actually have like a ton more lip products in my like big collection, but these are just the ones that I reach for. And these are just a bunch of chapsticks and a couple other things that I use when I'm like, oh, I just need chapsticks. So I have quite a few baby lips and a Nivea thing, and uh, this new Maybelline lipstick I've been trying out. Um, I also have a uh, Hannah Montana chapstick because I'm an adult. And then this is just a bunch of lip glosses and lipsticks, a bunch of NYX and CoverGirl, and a bunch of lip butters. Love the lip butters. They are freaking amazing. And this lipstick I have not gotten around to wearing yet, but it's the Electric Fuchsia Maybelline lipstick. This color is so crazy. I mean, it doesn't look that bright on camera, but it is, like, crazy, crazy bright, and I'm almost scared to wear it, but that's why it's out, so I can have courage to put it on. And then, just a little thing over here, I have a bunch of my necklaces hung up here. 
I haven't really found a better way to store these yet, so it's just where I put them. So that's pretty much it for my bathroom counter tour. Um, I have a bunch of products over there if you can't tell, but I'm not going to go over that because it's a mess and I just don't want it. <laughs> so, okay, so I will see you guys again in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Like it if you liked it and yeah, um, leave me comments if you want. I would love that. This is getting weird. <laughs> okay, bye guys.